Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Gala, we are trading at 0 0.01774, 24 hour volume, we are up outstanding 63% and market cap, we're at 5.33%. All right, you guys, so heading over to our daily chart here, we've seen this miraculous recover for Jasmine, three candlesticks coming up and almost at 100% of our previous FIB retracement, but most importantly here, filling out that gap getting closer to our 20 moving average and I know I talk about 20 moving averages quite often on the channel but it is going to be a trend reversal or trend setter so basically the price you know I can't even count when we were able to be above our 20 MA I guess here on December 6 but it was a false um, breakout as we came down and closed above the 20 MA once again. So essentially here we are wanting to retest the 20 moving average and again hopefully close above it multiple candles to really change the marketplace here from this bear market to more of a bullish market itself. But when we do take a look at this people may take advantage of Gala pushing the price here. We do see these three candlesticks here. It does not have the characteristics in my opinion to show the three white shoulder a uh, three right three right white soldiers chart pattern itself and normally the three white soldiers is a bullish reversal pattern but normally it would have to be the same bodies are exactly the same size here in that formation to have that type of reversal however we do see that the macd indicator from our last previous video we wanted to make sure that the current itself was getting smaller and ultimately changing into the green um green histogram itself so even though we're in this one node we do want to wait until we do close off to make sure we are in this current but so far it is looking good for a start kind of matching the same here that we saw in october 26 depending on how big these histograms um, start to become on the first wave then we may actually come back up to 78 percent, which is 0 0.01851 but let's take a look at four hour time frame because this is going to be where we're going to see some corrections in the marketplace and really where we're going to be taking a look at for an area of support is really going to be hard to determine that because gala is so low we don't have that historical data so we're going to be taking a look at our two hour and our four hour time frame so if we can see this incline here, we crossed above our 20 moving average, used it as an area of support. If we can see here as an area of a crutch, closed above our 50 moving average and continuing upwards. Now, what we can see again here is an incline or closer to 100 moving average as well. We haven't been considered as overbought with our Bollinger Bands. However, we are considered as overbought with our RSI. So notice again, our K line coming down and crossing below our D line itself. So this pink line here, whenever we see this action, it gives us a hint that the price is considered overbought and it triggers that selling opportunity where the price is going to correct itself. As we're taking a look at this four hour time frame, we've extended more than 50% of the previous candle action so we are going to be hit with a serious sell-off here now again we don't have that historical data to see where the price may lead to however our volume profile here does show some supply and demand where the price generated either sells or buying opportunity here at 0 0.0173 to 174. Now this area is either treated as an area of support or a resistance if the price moves away from the current supply. Now here we see this node sticking out at 0 0.0176. This is the outskirts of this area. We see a candlestick here on December 27th coming down to this area, didn't hold on to support and ultimately broke it with the expansion of the MACD indicator. If the price is gonna cross below this, close about below this, then we can anticipate Gala can possibly come down to this area of supply. Now heading over to the two hour time frame, we've already seen that selling feature. We've seen that rejection at 78%. Consider that we are 
overbought here. We can see this red indicating, but most importantly, the spinning top candlestick. An exhaustion of this uptrend, a correction is going to occur. Now, correction here, we can see a few of our candlesticks coming down here at 0 0.01758, ultimately where we found support. However, price may easily break through this depending on our current momentum. So if we see that the momentum blocks are getting smaller, then it is going to give us a hint. We may not hold on to that area of support and price is going to retest the 61% of our FIB. However, notice that we have a possible possible golden cross here. So our 20 moving average closing above our 100 moving average might give us that um, might give us that hint that again, Gala is going to go up in a two hour time frame. So long again, we do close above our moving averages here. We're holding on to that area of support so that trend does not break. Here is our trend here that started on January 1st. Um, actually not January 21st. If we take a look here, guys, right here. So December 30th, as soon as we closed above December 30th in a two hour time interval, we held on to support of our 20 moving average. So here we held on to support here as well. If the price for Gala is able to hold that 20 moving average as support, then this is only going to be a mere correction and then continue upwards. If we're able to hold 61%, then that's going to work out really well because we're not making a shallow correction. We're just making a correction in general. So a pull back into the marketplace in hopes for the price to continue up and retest 78% of our FIB. So if we do see the price in a two hour time frame come down, make a shallow turn, right? Because that's a huge dip. It might give us a hint that the price itself is going to consider to even push through the 50 MA and close below our 20 moving average, which does change the reversal or change the current trend from this uptrend and a possible downtrend. So just be very cautious going into today. Definitely let me know. That kind of sums up my video here for Gala. Let me know down below in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel as well, but I'll see you guys next time.